Mr. Herlick, I have two questions for the leader today. First, I'm gonna, I want to rise to support um, the increase in the polls with regard to marriage equality for the marriage equality referendum. According to the Irish Times, 71% would vote in favor now of marriage equality. And I think this is voices the remarkable um, social and cultural change that has occurred in Ireland during the last 30 years. And the government has acknowledged that the legislation needs to reflect this change across the country, especially young people, but also civil society groups were engaged in um, the issue of marriage equality to register young people, especially to vote in respect to the upcoming referendums. Um, I participated in that registration uh, organized by Marriage Equality, Glen Irish Council of Civil Liberties, and also the Student Union of Ireland. It is recorded as being the most successful registration drive of people to uh, and, and register for voting um, ever, ever recorded. Uh, I think the views of the young could decide the outcome of this historic referendum on marriage equality. I think, as you members are aware, um, the long-running court case myself and my spouse are, have, have had in, to get recognized our Canadian marriage. We put that on hold to wait for the upcoming marriage referendum to take place in the spring of 2015. So I want to ask the leader, when is the bill for the constitutional amendment to be published and when is the referendum expected to take place?